Jay today, who's a veg controller. We're going to be following his daily routine as it happens on the scene. What are we likely to um, come across today, Al? Well, we've got a couple of jobs lined up today. We've got to go and do um, a sweet potato job. So we'll be trapping that in the field. Yeah. That's what's causing a few problems that we've got to go and Making do. Making a right mess of the field, is it? Yeah. Then we've got a couple of um, roosted swedes that we've got to go and sort out. Ooh. So that should be good. Well, that'll be yeah. on the lamp, that will. On the lamp, yeah. Yeah, in a barn. You have to get them in the evening when they're roosting? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, later on in the night we've got to go and sort a of button and squash out which is causing oh. real bad problems, Yeah, real bad problems. So we're going to take the 22-250 rifle in to have a go at that because we need to get the job done. Yeah, I mean you can't let a button and squash, just, just no. create havoc, on, havoc all over the place, can we? Take hello? Oh, hello, um, I got your number off the internet. Peas nest. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, could you message me your address and don't allow anybody to go near the, the problem okay. area. And um, <clears throat> if you send me your address now, I shall make. A, I shall get the stuff in the van and I will leave straight away to come and see you. Okay. But we can sort it, no problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Wow, first call of the day. A mm. peas nest. A peas nest. How, 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 uh, do we need to get down there straight away? Yeah, or? we've got to get down straight away. Um, we've got to take some chemical with us called Ficam P. Ficam P. Yeah, and what happens is it, it attacks the nerve system on the P. Right. So um, I see. if we get ready, we can go and yeah. sort that job. We, we right. can film that. We can well, film folks, the job. Let's Let's do it. Let's go and see, see what the bee's nest is all about. I'll okay, get the stuff. So folks, we're just um, about to disembark on this uh, bee's nest call. What kind of equipment are we looking to use here? I'll show you the equipment quick before we leave. I've really got to try and get this done. Get the plastic on. Okay. So this is a chemical called Ficam P. On easy jobs I use the ball, on tricky little jobs there there's a lot of peas, I use the wand. So we've got to do a sweet potato job on the way back from this peas nest. So now. should we take that with us as well? Yeah, so we'll get the equipment in the car. And I we'll mean, time is of the essence here folks, we really need to get down there. Yeah, so we'll get it in. Right, we're ready to go. Right. Ready to rock and roll, folks. We need to get our tow down a little bit on this uh, peas nest now. This is one thing I like to sort out fast because I don't want customers getting stung, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. Looks like a duty of care yeah. in public. Yeah. Sort these out instantly. Come on, lady, we've got a peas nest to get to. Standing in the lane. Thank you. Just what you need in an emergency. Yes, silly. Unbelievable. So, um, Alan, what's the biggest peas nest you've ever seen, or the most right. safe? I did a peas nest the other day, last week. Um, it was in an attic. And I went up in the loft to have a look, and it was it was a huge peas nest. So I went in with the the P one. When I touched the bottom of the peas nest, it fell off the wall, and it was black. You've never seen oh, no. so many. You've never seen so many peas. So I had to basically run, slam the hatch down, get the ladders down, slam the hatch down. I left my yeah, P1 up there and everything before treating, 
it took me three hours to let the piece settle back down until I could get time to get back in. But every time I went up with the headlight, they were attacking me. You know, the piece were attacking the light. Oh. So it was how a many time, how, how many times were you stung? Four. Well, if I hadn't had my pea suit on, I'd have been stung hundreds and thousands of times. But I was worried about the people downstairs in the house. I didn't want any peas coming down and attacking them. So I had to shut the hatch down and try and attack the problem from outside. It, it, it was a hard. It you must be really using hard. a proper pea suit. Yeah, it was really hard. What was that it there? I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll pull into the job now and we'll have a, a chat with the people. I know they mentioned something, but they, they said that they sell veg off the side of the road, so it could be. This is only around the corner from me, isn't it? Okay, so we're at the job now. I don't really want to film this in case she's funny about yeah. us filming. Okay, stuff. let's cut it there. So we've just been inside to see the customer and um, went back to the van to grab the, uh, what is this? It's, uh, it's a pea stick. A pea stick? Yeah. <laughs> right, what, what kind of, what does it do? What we have to do is put this into the nest and, and pump it and it puts 5 camp pea into the nest. 5 camp pea, okay then. So let's go down and have a look. I stay here, is it? Yeah, I just, just hang back a minute. Let me have a look what's going on here. Right, stand back now. This is one of the biggest pea nests I've ever seen. You've never seen anything like this. So, I need to leave that now for about 20 minutes. So we'll come back in 20 minutes' time and we'll have a look. Oh, they will be dead then? They'll be dead, yeah. How big is a piece then? A piece nest. Oh, normally the average around about, I'd say, ten a size four. How many, five, how many peas can you find in a piece nest? <laughs> At least 5,000 in that one. No way! 5,000 peas? Yeah. All in the same place? Easy. Unbelievable. Yeah, thank you. Well, hopefully it'll work. Yeah. Back in a minute. Okay, so um, I'm going to go and uh, see what's going on with the fumigated nest. Hopefully they're all dead because these are serious, serious peas. Yeah, it's all quiet now. Come on, so come with me. Uh, once you bring the nest out now, so you can have a look. As you can see in there, all the peas are dead now. Oh God, look at the one in the corner. Quick. Peas everywhere. So there's dead peas everywhere in here now, as you can oh, see. Oh, look at that. How many do you think is in there? Oh, there's thousands in there. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if you hold this, I'll explain to you. This 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 is where the larvae are born in here, in in the case. So you imagine. I mean, obviously these have all hatched and gone now, but this 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 was what the it adult pea. It would sit like inside the larvae, but the queen pea, who should be in there somewhere, it all starts from a little tiny ball at the top. This nest. And it just gets bigger and bigger and she produces, well as you can see there, 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 there's the ball where the queen starts. So she starts from that and then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger for larvae then. Which look at the ball, isn't it? This is the larvae case, but if you, if you look how many's in there, there's so many peas in there. Oh, you know. Look at them all, look at that. You know, that's what's been stinging you all week. I've never it, seen so many peas. It, it's just beyond, look, they just keep coming and all the larvae cases. Unbelievable. You know, and you that got, is a big peas nest. You've got to think now. I mean, you've got to keep watching out because you know, there's a lot of peas that's out working. They'll come back. You know. They're on average there, during the know. season, how many peas nests would you deal with? Oh, probably 60, 70 a season. Easy. Yeah. Easy. yeah. It's becoming a big problem. Really, 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 really Are they an invasive pea? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The common peas even worse. It sting you all the time. Absolutely crazy. And how much would you charge for the? I charge sixty pounds to come and do the business. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I and I, yeah. I and I. I mean, that sounds like a great deal when you think how, how dangerous they are. Yeah, but I treat yeah. them with um, Ficamp P as well. Ficamp P. Yeah, nice. it, it attacks the nerve system on the P and kills them. So. Right. 
Kills them stone yeah, dead. Well, look, just look, job's quick. Well, look like at the know, carnage. Look yeah. at the carnage. 15, 20 minutes, it's, it's game over. Unbelievable. Uh, happy with that. The customer should be really happy with that now. She can have a. And that's the end of this call. Yep, yeah, it's the end of this one. So we can go and have a look what's on next. Brilliant. Okay. Right, folks. Well, that's the uh, peas nest taken care of. Um, I don't know what the next call is. I think. I'm not sure what, but I think we've got some sweet potatoes on the rampage in a field on the bottom. So we've just arrived at the sweet potato job. Alan, what's next? Well, what we're going to do is, what the potatoes are causing in here, they're causing a lot of soil in the field and they want to take a cut off here, which causes listeria. So it's an ongoing problem here. I've done it before and I'll show you exactly where the problem is. I know where they're coming from, where they're going. So we'll we'll have put a look. trap in. I know because I've been here so many times, but this is where the potatoes are going in. Ooh. As you can see, I can see, yeah. They're well worn, they're well used. And what will happen then? See this quad of dirt here? Yeah. The potatoes start travelling then in the field. I know exactly where I've got to put the trap on this uh, potato because I had a trap in here last week. But what happens is, when you open the run up, you take the pressure out, the, the run, and the potato normally runs back. So when they're out there working, you'll see, you open the run. Is this, is this the kind of damage that these sweet potatoes do? This is what they do, do, mate. It's beyond. They're absolutely beyond. I mean, they call them sweet potatoes, but are they yeah. really that sweet? No, they're not sweet at all. They cause so much damage, you know, and I do hundreds and of And where jobs. would you find the, the run now? Well, I'll go between the humps here. Right. Find the run, and then, you know, but as I say, I'll open him up and I'll show you what I do. So, oh, there he goes, look. This is what I said to you. It's because you've opened the run up and changed the pressure. They oh, go just, running just past. Did you just go past? He's gone past. Unbelievable. There you are, folks. So, there's one in the hole as we speak. Yeah, so what I should do is, is I'll put a trap in here now. Ready. I'll have to use a, a bit of soil down the side of here just to hold him in because this this is a, a run I've been using for a long time so cover him up like so and normally they feed every four to six hours these potatoes so what we'll do is we'll come back in the morning and we'll come and check the trap and see what goes on from there but as you can see with the damage they're an absolute nightmare you know this woman has kept Paying me time after time to come and do it. You, you do it the only way, you, and you can't get rid of the run. It's already open and, and going all the time, so she's pretty much doomed. You know, summertime comes and then the potato will go off. Then he'll go on his own way, mate. And but it's still going. What can I say so, about it? Sweet potatoes, folks. Not that sweet. Alan's just going to go and check and have a couple of runs to make sure there's no, no others about. And I think tonight. We, um, we have to deal with a butternut squash which is running rampant down at the allotment, taking loads and loads of carrots every night. So let's right. have a look. I'm just going to check these ones now. This is another... Is that the... It's gone off. It's gone off already? Yeah, this is what happens. So, that's when you can tell that the trap's gone off. So, if there's another potato in there, there we then go. There it is. The not so sweet potato. Yeah, and that's a female. Oh yeah, I can see. So we'll get that one out there. Out the trap. It kills them instantly. Would you reset the trap then for, yeah. the, for not, just in case? In I mean, I, that, I, that, that was really quick. Yeah. I, I didn't expect it to be that quick. Yeah. I did see another one go past, so we'll get the trap back in. Because there'll be another potato travelling that. That's it. And what do you do with a sweet potato? Well, I'll take it, it down to kill? the farm and I and show them that we've had one, keep them happy. Yeah. We'll come and check this one again in the morning then. Eh? Brilliant. Uh, okay. Done. So what's the time out there? Um, these buttons got? Alright. Uh, yeah. Four, three? Yeah. 22 to 50. 22 to 50. Why do you do that? Uh, what I do is, I mean the farmer's gone out now, so when they come back they'll see that I've had a potato. 
Oh, so you can see, so they yeah. can see what's going on. So if done. I come back at five or six, I put them on the fence. I get paid for every potato that I catch. So Excellent. That's what I do on there. Excellent. So we've just heard that Eddie Jones is on the way up. Um, it sounds really serious, this button that's squash. I'm not sure if he's up for the job. He, I, I, we haven't told him yet. But um, this, this thing is seriously causing havoc. Nailing carrots, night after night after night. It's unbelievable. We'll just have to see what he says when he gets here. Hi there, Eddie. Hi there, Kevin. You all right? Just look at this. Just look at this. I can't believe it. Alan's gone down to the uh, to the farmer now. Oh, what would you man. say it is? <laughs> That's a squash, butternut squash. No way. Yep. Not a butternut. No butternut squash. Just look at the damage on that carrot. Yep. It's time of year now. Time of year. Trouble yeah. is the carrot. When it's young, it's only got a thin stem. It can outrun them. Is it something you can handle? I mean, is it? Yeah, we'll, we'll see how big it is first. I'll, I've got a decent sized bullet with me, so but we need to get him. Yeah. You're going to get a lot more in the where was yeah. it the allotment or well, it, 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 uh, roughly around five a night going. Yeah, that's all it is. You know, the air's got too long and they're dragging it. They can't get away from them. Yeah, in the butternut, it's, that's what you're it's saying. quite solid on the bottom. I mean, just look at the chunks speed. you took out of that. That's a big butternut. Unbelievable. I'm worried about that one. So what have you got with you tonight to deal with this? Um, got 22 250. Yeah. Bullet. I was going to bring. I was going to bring the HMR just in case we've seen anything else, but that's massive. That's a big butternut squash that is to do that. Probably the biggest you've seen. Yeah. Um, we're in for a bit of a fight tonight. Is Alan coming out with us? Yeah, he's just gone down to the farm to see them. And we'll have yeah. to meet him down there, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so, if, folks, what we're going to have to do... Just yeah. let you know, I just want to warn you for filming. Yeah. We need to be quiet. Right. And there's one one big warning. Yeah. If I miss, yeah. don't question it, just run. Yeah. It's going to be dark. You've got, no, you've got no chance of them... I've oh, no, seen sure. it coming. Not so sure I want to be involved with this anymore. If you, if you want to chunk like that out your leg, oh, or even your neck. No thanks. Don't it's, miss then, Eddie. It's no laughing game. It's, just don't miss. You just yeah, I'll try. Right. But if I do, one morning, it's just just get back to the car. Yeah. Okay. Don't even look around for it again. All right. I'll have to tell okay. the old, I'll tell the crew. No worries. No problem. All right. So. Okay. Ready? Mm. Soup! Oh crap, where's it gone Al? I can't see, I can't see, I've got no, I've got no eyes on it. Keep your voice down, keep your voice down. Your eyes might not be the best but they can hear you. Keep your voice down. It's gone. It's gone lads. Where is it? So keep calling. Keep calling. Okay, give it another call. Oh, man, I don't want to get hurt. Come on. Right, I'm going to try and cook just grab the beans. 
grass is a bit long there, look. Yeah. But I'm getting a decent shot. Yeah. Keep it on him. He won't move as long as you keep the light on him. Try and keep quiet. If he moves from there while I'm on my way down, you just go. Right, okay. then. He's sneaky crazy. Can't believe it was that first shot. It's a long shot that wasn't it? Yeah, a really long shot. Dodgy little bastards, he's bad little squashes. See how fast he moved? See how quick he got from there? Yeah, I know. Him. Unbelievably fast. Don't miss him. Where's Eddie? He's just to the left of us. Oh, he's got him. Dead. Oh, he's thank dead. God for that. Yes, thank God safe, for that. Yeah. Oof. Put the light on, Laddie, so you can see where's way up. Keep coming left. There's Eddie coming up there. Good shot, Ed. Do you reckon that's the carrot killer, Ed? He's a big one. Yeah. Not shot one that big for a long time. No. No, they're normally smaller ones. You can use the HMR on, but that is the mother. Yeah, yeah. That is a big one. Oh, he's seen him. He, he popped. No, he's definitely popped. Yeah, he's down there, do you? Hopefully, we'll have something left for a bit of soup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely. Have, we'll have to go and check, won't we? We're going to have a look. We'll have to drive down. He's a hell of a way down. We'll need the lights. Nice shot, Eddie. Yeah, well, I could have shot him further away, but. Grass is too long to get. He was just getting it. so close, so I wasn't. I wasn't you know, we're not used to this, like you boys. At least yeah. we've done the job. The farmer will be happy. Oh, you'd be sure. Yeah. Just be careful when we get down here, because if his body's still attached or his head, he can still get you. We wanted right. a complete dispatch from head to body, so just be careful. If you see his head attached, yeah. we'll, yeah. we'll okay. shoot it again just to make sure. Okay. Perfect dead shot, we're all right. We're all right. There we go. Perfect dead shot. Yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Oh, Not going to bite any more carrots, that ain't. No. Proper dead shot as well. Yeah. Got Perfect plenty, dead shot. Got plenty of body for suit now. See, if we had a shot that with an HMR, it would have just have took a little piece of it. They can still bite well. They've only got half a head. They can still get you, so that's why they're catching the carrots. See all that mass down there, it's just pure strength. They can run a lot faster than carrots along there. And keep these bits as well, look. Yeah, keep the bits, everything else for a nice soup. That's how I like to shoot them. Save the main body for a nice soup after. No point wasting it all. Great shot, Eddie. Tasty. Yeah, they're beautiful, mm. they're beautiful. Mm. Yeah, that's even softer now the bullet's gone through, look. Mm. Yeah, it's a shame they look lovely, but when they're causing problems like that, they've got to be gone. That's they become right. a pest. Yeah. We need to get on because we've still got them other jobs to do and do as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, how's your day been? Yeah. Good. Happy. Good result. Yeah. 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 All the stuff in the bag that we wanted. The allotment's safe again. All done. It is. All done. It is for now, but you think this is bad just wait till October 31st. Really? It's going to be a nightmare. Okay folks, that's it for um, this episode of Veg Controller, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>